Hey guys, very good morning and welcome to my channel Prodbug. And today I come up with a very very interesting topic which is AI. And as you already know that how AI is changing on daily basis, how AI is changing the job reality, job market, right? Uh, and it's a big threat and it's a big opportunity. Like uh, it's a, two, a two, you can say two-way sword so basically in some cases it's a really good for humanity and for the new kind of jobs uh, but on the other side it is very dangerous as well for a lot of people right I hope you already aware about all these things so you are already getting all these news and being into the automation industry so like it is now good time to learn uh, about the AI right and uh, to, uh, we already know a lot of thing about the AI, but but how practically you can use it, that is very important for us to learn, right? How you can use the benefit of power of AI into your coding <clears throat> while uh, while writing your code. How you can take the advantage of the AI, right? And uh, AI is already disturbing uh, disturbing the market. We already know that, and uh, in another five year, we can really see the impact. Right now also we are seeing the impact. There are a lot of job uh, cut going on uh, all around the world and all big companies like Google, Amazon, uh, Microsoft, they are investing a huge, huge, huge money into the AI, right? And AI is really becoming a very, very threat and opportunity at the same time for all of us, right? So in this particular series, what I'm planning to do is like <clears throat> I'm targeting all the people in automation uh any developer you're most welcome uh, because this is a brand new topic right for all of us if you are from the functional uh, uh like manual testing or functional testing so yes i am targeting uh, those kind of people as well and if you are from any background of the it uh, right so you can watch the series we are going to cover some uh, a lot of coding part a uh, lot of things we will see in this particular series for the time being uh, i am able to uh, communicate with the open ai using our code right using our code in like uh, i'm using the python and using our intellij and all this thing i'm able to communicate with the open ai and also i'm able to convert like text to speech so uh, whatever we will write so we can convert into a voice real voice okay uh, any kind of voice basically male female child any any voice whatever you decide so basically all those kind of coding part will be really uh, very much interested for the automation kind of people and but i am also going to cover a lot of business cases of the open open ai which can be used in our day-to-day -day life if you are non-tech kind of uh, background right like uh, like if you are a manager okay if you are a project manager still you can use the uh, benefit of ai in your day-to-day -day life so okay so 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 just try to understand like ai is not a simple thing right it, it's a it's a kind of uh, knowledge of ocean right it, it's a big thing very very big thing uh, nobody know everything about the ai right but but uh, at one point of time we have to start right there is the, we don't have any option but we have to learn it right we have to start at least step by step one by one so try to uh, try to learn ai from wherever you can get okay um, my channel is one of the source i'm starting this particular topic now but there are a lot of sources you have so i will suggest you try to explore ai as much as you can okay so let's go and uh, i don't want to uh, threaten you but this is the reality and it's good if you know the reality right it's always good to to know that uh, uh, danger in front of you so if i will show you a few of the uh, i'm just checking uh, before the video like 14 percent of the work claim to have already lost the job to robots okay so this is the reality okay so this is like 2023 okay in may 20 uh, 3900 us job loses, loses were linked directly to the ai so there are a lot of examples you can see people are already losing their job over the ai because of the ai okay so that's why um, there are a lot of graph you can see see food preparation industry like 60 70 percent construction cleaning and we we are somewhere here information technology science so 40 percent impact uh, is there okay but it can be uh, more right in the future we all know that uh 
there are a lot of articles i am just going through so it's it's good to learn so just try to understand what's going on in the current markets because it will give you a push it will give you a push to learn it right so that's why it's always good to uh, have some information about the ai any kind of information uh, this is chat gpt and uh, we can see like uh, Microsoft, these two uh, brilliant guys, Satya Nadella from the Microsoft, and this is Sam. Uh, he founded the Open AI along with a lot of co-founder. Okay, so so uh, Open AI is the first uh, API which become very very famous. Apart from that, there are a lot of like Bard from the Google, and there are a lot right Gemini and a lot of Open AI. So so basically, the thing is that uh, people are uh, investing huge money in the uh, AI and it's a really a really good time to learn AI because you can take the benefit out of it otherwise you know that what will happen right so okay so this is the uh, I hope you guys already know about the chat GPT because this is the most famous open AI for the time being right I in my video I will show you a few more uh, AI uh, software which we can use okay but this is one of the most highly important so this is chat gpt 3.5 and the 4 has already been launched but that is a paid one this is a free one so we are going to use so right now we are like writing here right so we will going to automate this so like uh, we are not uh, right all this thing who uh, who is the founder of the open ai we will call this particular uh, string or a query from our code and uh, we will get this uh, response uh, inside the code okay so this step by step small by small by small steps we are going to learn uh, ai in this particular series okay if you are not aware i have already started like uh, last year uh, to learn something about the api and this is one of the topic i covered so you can just go through this if you have not like github copilot ai programming so basically what is copilot if you are not aware i will show you co pilot okay copilot microsoft it has been sponsored by the microsoft okay first of all and this is a beautiful uh, helper so basically if you install the copilot in your idea or eclipse anywhere okay so as soon as you are writing the code it give you a suggestion and it gives awesome suggestions okay so you can use those suggestions and you can write a very very bug free code okay so like this particular video series is about that uh, github copilot programming so i will highly recommend uh, as soon as you get a time sometime uh, try to use the copilot okay you can go through this video or you uh, go from any other sources uh, but but try to use the copilot okay in in your uh, code okay so that is again a ai okay and uh, again a ai so so ai is a very very big thing and just try to learn from wherever you can learn anything you can learn okay this is my uh, uh, simple idea just try to learn small my small okay because if you think that you are going to learn everything at one time it's not not going to be possible okay so what else so okay so in this particular chapter we are going to see how we can a fire one query and how we can get the response using the code using the automation okay okay so and in other series then we will try to see some business uh, cases something so so i, I don't have any uh, as per agenda what i'm going to uh, teach you in this particular series but i i'm just going to tell you whatever i know and uh, whatever i'm learning i will just try to share with you guys and we will see one by one uh, how AI is working via the automation. Okay, so main main motive will be on the coding part. Main uh, objective of this particular series will be uh, on the code. Okay, but side by side we will see uh, the uh, some key concepts. Okay, some terms uh, terms related to the API like LLM. Okay, so chat GPT-4 and uh, there are TTS, text-to-speech uh, model. So there, it's a huge, okay, I, I can't recall each and everything, but it's a huge uh, things to learn. Okay, so we'll try to cover whatever we can. Okay, so <clears throat> let me show you uh, something. So, so basically what we are going to uh, learn uh, this is an IntelliJ. Okay, so this is a uh, IntelliJ, especially for uh, Python. Okay, so it's called PyCharm. Okay, so I'm using PyCharm, Charm, but uh, you can use whatever you want to use. Okay, so you just need to search Python 
editors okay something like that and uh, there are a lot you can s use any one of them okay so pycharm i am using you can use visual studio sublime atom jupiter there are a lot okay there are huge number of uh, editors but you use whatever you like it okay there is no foundation on that okay so i am using this uh, particular uh, pycharm okay and we are going to see small small code okay so before that before that we need to do some setups okay just to contact just to communicate with the, this chat gpt uh, we need to do some setup okay setup is very easy not that much big okay so first of all you need to install the node.js okay so this is the website of node.js let me let me open this so here just you need to download the latest LTS. You can use this one recommended for most of the user. You can try with the latest uh, features, but I will recommend you to download this particular. Okay, just it's a kind of exe. Just download, double click it. Uh, just click on the next, 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 and it will get installed. Okay, so I hope this is clear. <clears throat> okay, uh, once the this is downloaded, you need to download the Python. Okay, and to the java users like uh, if you are not aware about the python i will recommend you start learning step by step because you know in ai uh, i can see most of the things are done in python okay so uh, try to learn some kind of python as well so this is the python whatever latest version is shown to you just try to download and install it okay so second step is you need to install python once everything is done uh, just try to check open this uh, command prompt CMD window and just write these query and they should work so node iPhone version so, okay so this is the version uh, installed into my system uh, NPM while installing I think uh, NPM also get installed side by side Okay, so this is the NPM version I have and Python hyphen hyphen version. Let's see. Okay, so this is exactly the same which <clears throat> is shown here. Okay, so these three things should be installed before starting doing anything. Okay, now next important steps. Go to here, open AI. Okay, uh, you can log in into the open AI. Okay, try to create an account. Uh, with open open AI, you can log in with Gmail or anything like that and uh, then go to here API keys this is really important because using this key open AI we are going to communicate with the open AI okay so this is really important go to this section uh, API keys click here create new secret key and you can easily create a new key so this is a secret key don't share with anyone okay this is also hidden here okay so basically this will be your key okay so using this key you are going to communicate with the open ai right so this is enabled created uh, in feb and last use this so all the permission okay so this is like your uh, key okay okay what else uh, you can do here is Okay, so this will be created here uh, and save generated fine. You can save that particular key. Okay, so I hope uh, till that point everything will be clear, right? Uh, what else? Okay, so while installation there are two two strategies. Okay, so you basically you can set up a virtual environment inside your window machine. So basically all the setup etc you do will be inside that environment. So your laptop will be out of that environment and whatever you are doing will be inside that environment only. Okay, if you are installing Python or anything, so it will be just in, installing into that particular one virtual one small environment inside your laptop okay so this is not a very much recommended but uh, this is optional you can try to do setup virtual but uh, 
uh, I would say that you can do or not. Okay, I have tried. I have tried. I have set up actually. Okay, uh, using the virtual environment. But uh, even if you want to skip this step, you can skip and you can directly jump to the step four. But if things are not working, then you can try to use the step three. Okay, but just to explain you what I have done, like virtual environment provide a clean working space for your Python package to be installed, which I already informed you, right? So all the Python related anything will be installed into that. Okay, what you have to do? It's very very simple. Simple. You run this command. Python hyphen m v environment it's virtual environment open ai hyphen env okay that's it only this command you need to run in your command prompt and a, a virtual environment will be up and running and whatever you are doing you just do inside that so basically you just copy and uh, you just paste here a virtual environment will be created you can see here like uh, this is my directory i have run this command and uh, you need to after that you need to run this command as well open ai environment scripts activate okay so you can see this virtual environment has been created here open ai env is coming okay so whatever you are doing now will be inside this uh, virtual environment okay so this is something like that okay so i have written like run this command back to back so you just hit this uh, command and after that you hit this command so these two commands you need to hit back uh, back to back and then you should have something like this kind of command prompt okay this should come in front of that okay so i hope this is clear now install open ai python library now we have to install the open ai python library okay so open uh, window com uh, command prompt again and uh, then also run the following okay so even if uh, i recommended like even if you have installed the virtual environment still you try to run this because sometimes it happen the some problem comes into the setup so it's better to install in your normal laptop as well because we are installing nothing but we are installing open ai and the python so it's like there is no harm right so pip uh, install upgrade open ai so just run this like uh, you can see here i have run this in a virtual environment so wherever whenever you see open ai environment means it's a virtual environment okay but you can install this outside the command as well i have done that too okay just to be sure so when you are running this pip install uh, upgrade open ai so these library will be uh, installed in your system right so this step is done now step 5 is very very important like set up your api keys for your project so you know we have generated that uh, api key uh, in the open uh, open ai uh, website okay so just copy that in your notepad uh, write this command like set x space open capital in capital open ai underscore api underscore key and just paste your whatever generated api that uh, 20 30 character just here okay don't include this uh, double quotes okay this is just for showing you so command is starting from here to here so uh, okay fine i have see here uh, set x open ai key and this is my key i have hidden the middle part okay so because it's a secret okay we don't need to share with anyone so but you need to do this thing and value will be saved okay to make it permanent okay so this is what we have done you can see that this is installed like this open ai api key this i have set up inside the virtual environment only inside the virtual on the next day when i restart my computer something so this key will be will not be there because it is for the timing it has been set okay so this is not a good practice like every day you doing all this thing so it's better you set all these things permanently so that you can focus on something else okay not on the setup every day okay so this is just for the uh, one first day okay so to make it permanent what do you need to do uh you go here okay go to your uh, this drive just right click go to here properties Go to the go to the advanced system settings and click on the environment variables and uh, once you click on the environment variable a pop-up will come i hope you are already aware about all these things and you just need to do enter enter a new variable into the under the system variable okay go inside click here new in the system variable click on the new 
and its small popper will come just right here open ai underscore api key okay spelling should be correct please make sure that everything is correct and just save your key whatever key generated for you and press ok that's it and this is important once you are done open a new command prompt okay so don't try to use the same one because sometimes it happen the existing command prompt don't take the latest values okay so so try to open a new command prompt and just print try to print this one echo percentage percentage open ai underscore api underscore key so your key should appear here if your key is appearing here means everything has been set up properly now there will be no problem and no other setup part will be required for you okay i hope this setup part is complete and these are the five steps which you need to do and yes everything your python your open ai your api keys everything will be set up properly okay now it is time to go dirty your hands with the code okay so let's go here time to dirty our hands with some codes okay so now <clears throat> another installation <laughs> uh, install the python editor fine so this is the jetbrains link you can just directly google the pycharm try to install that okay uh, this is the link uh, where uh, you can find this is the guide and here is the exe is present here in this particular link try to install it okay pycharm community try to install pycharm community okay no paid it's a free 100 percent free so you can install this okay create a project once uh, this has been installed okay restart your uh, computer whatever you want to do whatever suggestions come to you try to do that and now open the pycharm Cre create a new uh, project okay simple right click here uh, you can just name anything here open ai pro anything and uh, just create a new project right okay so while after doing this i am facing some problem into the pycharm like uh, i'm not able to hit the uh, code. My, my code is showing the error okay uh, even though i have installed everything properly but but still i am getting some kind of problem inside the pycharm okay so i don't know why the pycharm is not able to come uh, uh, take everything uh, from the installation but uh, so if if you are facing that problem uh, in your setup as well try to install the open ai again inside the terminal okay so basically go <coughs> open the pycharm okay and uh, here you can open the terminal somewhere here is the terminal here is the terminal okay just here try to install again pip install upgrade open ai hyphen hyphen upgrade open ai try to install here okay so maybe something is missing so try to install this one so once i have installed these libraries has been again downloaded and uh, now pycharm is up and running okay now verify open ai version fine so this we can run pip show open ai this is the command which you can run in your terminal open ai okay so see uh, some versions should come here one one point uh, one two right so this version should come here okay so now the finally the installation part is complete congratulation if you have uh, if you are able to reach till here till this point okay now now the coding part will be very simple and remember so these coding looks difficult but they are very very small code okay this is the power of python like with very very small code you can achieve big things okay so let me show you so just create a new dot py uh, python class okay and just you need to copy paste this code okay uh, okay let's try to read what i have written here from open ai import open ai okay so from the open ai library i am importing open ai okay so this is just like a import in java okay on top of the package package and all this thing so client this is a new variable i have declared it can be anything abc anything it can be is equal to open ai so i am calling the open ai library and i am uh, basically uh, referencing to this particular client so wherever i am using client basically i am using open ai object okay so this is the object okay so object of open ai dot chat so these are the like uh, different different category okay so <clears throat> so you need to write so basically we are uh, using the chat 
right we are using the chat gpt so that's why we are using chat if if uh, i have example for the text to speech uh, there uh, it will be different classes okay so but right now we are only focusing for this particular chapter like uh, lesson we are only focusing on the chat uh, in next videos i will cover text to speech how we can write a text and how we can con convert it into an mp3 so you can see like uh, i have i'm able to download uh, i'm able to create a new brand new mp3 okay and these are in with different different voices like ladies speaking when gents is speaking or anything so with any accent basically so let's focus back uh, let's uh, focus on the chat gpt only so uh, open ai object dot chat dot completion dot create okay so this will be the uh, hierarchy of the object so this is a, a like uh, a bracket uh, starting here and ending here so model see model is we have to tell to the open ai which model i am going to use so there are thousands of model we are going to use gpt 3.5 turbo okay i will show you there are a lot of models in chat gpt only like uh, gpt 4 turbo or there are 4.0 there are basically a lot of models so they keep on training the models and uh, then we can use uh, the free versions of the models okay so right now we are going to use chat gpt uh, 3.5 turbo okay so we can change this model as well okay all the models have different capabilities okay one model can answer something another model can answer better or worst okay so it depends upon how open ai is training their models okay models is nothing but a set of code set of machine uh, machine learning and all this thing okay so we will try to cover each and everything step by step okay so for the timing for the first uh, lecture like uh, this uh, we focused on the setup and we try to run one code okay okay message so role so role is like system content you are a cricket expert so basically i am telling to the model that i am a cricket expert okay so machine has to behave like you are a cricket expert okay so if you write here like you are a um, civil engineer okay so if if you will write something like uh, you are a civil engineer and you ask the same question to a civil engineer definitely civil engineer might not know the very much uh, the all the details about the cricket right uh, so even if i will ask from a footballer fan so who won the so first of all the some some lot of people will say oh what is cricket okay maybe a lot of my users you will ask okay what is cricket but uh, yeah so it depends upon right so from uh, which part of the world you belong so okay so so that's why so i am here asking i am saying to the model that uh, you are a cricket expert okay so you have to behave like a cricket expert so while answering my query you need to treat yourself as a cricket expert okay so this is a role system role it's a system role okay system role is like model i'm asking model to behave like a system and you behave like a cricket expert okay so you can experiment with a football expert here okay you can change your query anything you can write here now role user user is me i am a user i am an end user okay so content what i want to ask so as an end user as an end user i want to ask to the cricket expert who won cricket world cup in 1983 and explain rest of the details about the match okay so this is the generic statement okay before running our code let me show you what chat gpt tell okay so let's say let's ask the same question to the chat gpt here and let's compare what response we get in our code right so see this is too much detail oh my god too much detail given by the chat gpt here right okay now the same thing we are going to run from the code okay so here just i printed uh, the response the completion response of the uh, first message appear so let me right click run open ai test one okay so i am running this particular class and let's see what output we get okay so see this is the output we get it's a long uh, response so let me let me paste here only okay so see just i'm removing all the unnecessary detail and uh, okay so see 
this is the output written by like Nigeria India won the cricket World Cup defeating the two time defending champion West Indies and all these things and a uh, lot of details you can see right and here things are a bit different you can see so basically model uh, can treat some queries differently because we are running from the code our response is different and uh, here chat we are using the production chat GPT here the response is a bit different okay so you can compare like you can use uh, the uh, compare these two responses but on high level both the response are absolutely correct okay and this is how we have learned like uh, how we can use our code to get the same information what as an end user we are using the open AI, right so this is a small code i hope uh, you enjoyed uh, this particular chapter and you are a bit excited about how what else we are going to cover in this particular series i am really excited really uh, because i am uh, learning the open AI and uh, this sorry i am learning the AI related things and uh, the concept around that and really it's it's a good uh, learning journey journey and I want you guys to be a part of that journey so I hope you guys like this particular chapter and uh, I will try to come up with a, another uh, the next chapter to this particular series and till then see you guys and happy learning